Hi Native Scripters, this is Alex for Nuvius again. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. A little while ago I came across this article on the Native Script blog and it's how to analyze the app package and native visual UI tree of a Native Script application uh, by Nikolai Dianov. Now this is a very interesting article and uh, it goes into some detail here but I wanted to show you the iOS side in a video format because it's uh, it's quite impressive what you can do here. So I'm gonna grab the sample groceries app from the github page here and I'm gonna do the analysis on this app. Uh, I've already cloned the repository and switched to the angular branch. So I'm gonna add the iOS platform and I'm gonna do it like this. TNS platform at iOS. And I'm also going to run it in the emulator just to make sure everything is good. Okay, there's our app. The login is pre configured, so I can click sign in. And we can go ahead and manage our groceries list. Okay, great. So that app is running. I'm going to quit that. I'm going to open this folder. I'm going to go to the platforms folder and iOS. This is the sample groceries Xcode project that I'm going to double click on to open it in Xcode. And now that it's open in Xcode, I'm going to go ahead and run it. This is going to build and it's going to start the emulator. As you can see, we have the same page here. Uh, this is the login page. Now, a really cool thing you can do is uh, I'm going to move this window a little bit like this so we can see both. Okay. So in Xcode, I'm going to go up to the debug menu. You can't see it, it's off screen right now. Under the debug menu, there is a view debugging menu option. You have different choices here. One of them is show alignment rectangles. If you tap on that and you go here to the app, you can see that uh, there's slight yellow lines that are outlining your rectangles. This is very helpful when you want to see how far an element stretches, for example. So let me go ahead to the next page. You can see it a little bit clearer here. Each of our elements has a yellow line around it, which is great. Sometimes I had to do this manually by assigning a border color to some of my elements. Well, you don't have to. Another option is view frames. Okay, this is also going to show you the frames now um, of each view. So each view in, in UI kit has a frame and uh, this outlines it for you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off again. And finally, I want to show you something really cool. It's called capture view hierarchy. Okay, so this will show me the view and it'll show me the hierarchy in the left pane here. You see the window and the layout container. Uh, well, I mean, you, you get to click on everything, but nothing is cooler than when you get to convert it to a 3D view like this. So you get to manipulate the view, you get to spread out the views uh, further away from each other, and you can actually select each one of these layers individually, which is really nice. Now you can select, for example, this top text box with the username, and you get to see it highlighted here in the left pane. And you can take a look inside. Uh, there's the image. There is the button. Okay, this is great. So you can also go on to the next view. And this is a, a UI table view control, uh, this list here. So let's let's see what that looks like. We go to debugging, capture view hierarchy. Okay, you can also turn it that way. And let's zoom in a little bit here. You can inspect things like this. And this is really helpful for debugging purposes in case you see something that's not quite right and you're wondering what's going on. You can blow it up in this 3D view uh, that could be really helpful at some point to help you understand the structure that you're dealing with. Uh, this tool right here is very handy too because you can go back and scale back um, just a subset of the view hierarchy that you need to see. For example, if I'm just interested in the list, I can select that. If I want to open it up a little bit more, I can do that. That's all I wanted to show you today. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps somebody out. And thanks to Nikolai Diana for doing the original post.